Schaus sends it down low to Pataco. Pataco controls behind the net to a teammate. Then pass across in front. Schaus, shot, score! River Hawks win it in overtime! Joining us this intermission, UMass Lowell defenseman, one of the hard hitters on the back line, that is Nick Schaus, and a frequent visitor to this intermission interview. Nick, welcome. Thank you, Bob. It's nice to be back. It's good to have you back. And you know immediately what's on my mind. Uh, let me take it back. Saturday night, third period, late in the hockey game, the Riverhawks leading UMass Amherst by a goal. James Mark Coo into the attack zone, dangerous forward. They're probably their best offensive player. I think their top point guy. And you absolutely laid him out by uh, just laying the shoulder into his chest, and, and he was done for the night. Take me through that hit from your perspective. I was on the bench, like, I was getting ready for line change, and uh, the puck came up the wall. After, like, the fact Benny said that, like, he tried, that, that Mark Koo actually tried to, like, hip check him, and uh, but, I, I mean, I didn't really see the hit. People said it might have been a little bit, like, I don't know, borderline dirty or whatever on Benny, but uh, anyways, the play went, play kind of went into, like, uh, their zone. It came, swung back around, and I was uh, just jumping on the ice, and I saw him coming, uh, like, almost, like, trying to get a breakaway, you know, he busting through the middle, and, like, you know, a lot of times I, I try to look for, like, guys cut Cut, cut him through the middle, like hit him and stuff. But I mean, like, you know, when there's like a skill, more skilled guy, I try to like, you know, take a good angle on it. He didn't even see me coming because I was coming off the bench. So I saw him, I saw him catching the pass, and I just, you know, got ready to hit him. And you kept the elbow in. I mean, that, and we said it on the air immediately. That's as clean a hit as I think you're going to see in hockey. Yeah, well, I mean, last year I got like a lot of penalties for, I don't know, boarding and stuff like that. So this year I've been trying to just, you know, when I, when I hit, just make sure it's clean and, you know, and I guess like people say that if you hit like fully with your shoulder, it hurts more. So I try to do that too. Is there an art to hitting? Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. I think you have to be a pretty good skater, good at good at like judging, you know, distance and angles, you know, because you know a lot of a lot of the forwards are trying to you know throw like you know misinformation at you when they're coming down on the walls or through the middle at you. So, you know, you have to be able to stay with them and judge their speed and you know try to time it so that they're catching passes or or you know kind of off balance when you're you want to you want to hit them. You know, I think it's part of the key is don't look at the puck. Yeah, yeah, you have to play definitely play in defense, play play the body, play the chest. You know, kind of look at the look at the midsection. They can't fake with that. Yeah, yeah, just kind of you know keep your eyes on uh, their chest and don't really look at the puck. Because a lot of guys have good stick skills in hockey, so you know if you look at the puck for a second, you know they might you might be able to get by us. So you know that's pretty much what I try to do is just try to have a good angle on them and you know ride them out to the boards or if they're com coming through the middle, you know try to you know lay a body on them. So after the hit, I heard the name Scott Stevens mentioned in various corners. Was he one of your heroes? Uh, yeah, actually I liked him a lot growing up. I thought he was like I remember like the like the hit on Korea he had and on Lindros. I never was really a fan of Lindros. Just I don't know. So <laughs> that was kind of uh, I don't know. I thought he, he had a good career, and I'm, I mean, you know, like he's a he's like Hall of Famer. So not a bad guy to model yourself after. Do you have, do you have in your mind a list of your favorite hits? Or you... yeah, Bob, I, I have some favorite hits, but I mean, obviously, you know, I'm trying to play the game, so uh, I don't really think about them during the game. But yeah, I do. Where's this one rank? I'd say number three for me at, for in UMass Lowell history. What's number one? Last year up in Maine, I, I had a nice hit on, on Rob Bellamy. So, and I wasn't, me and him didn't really see eye to eye when we played against each other. So it was nice to get him that time. Is the physical side your favorite part of this game of hockey? Uh, no, I mean, I think it's 50-50. I like playing, I like playing offensively too. You know, I like to get up, jump up in the play and create offensively. But, you know, def once I get past, you know, in, inside of our, our red line, you know, then, then it's, you know, more playing good defensively and physically, you know, so I try to play well on both ends. When you're growing up and at the earliest levels of youth hockey, they don't want physical play. And then at some point you can begin hitting. How long does it take to learn how to hit, to be comfortable hitting for it to be natural? Well, I mean, you have to definitely, you know, like when you're a young kid, you know, you have to, it's, it's something you have to, you have to learn how to give a hit and take a hit, you know, the proper way. Um, I think, I think it's when you're peewee mate, pee -wee minor major that you can start hitting. So you start off pretty young, but I remember actually a story. My first game I ever played when I was like, I don't know, six years old. Uh, I used to, I never, I never played a game before and I didn't know there was no checking. So I used to go to the Sabres games and watch them and they, they could hit and stuff. So first shift out there, my dad said I went out there, ran, went, went after the guy with the puck, ran him over and the ref stopped the game and said, uh, Nick, you know, you can't hit till uh, like you're, you're a pee wee. So uh, couldn't hit for a few more years, but my dad always tells me about that. So it'd take a while to adjust once they said it was okay to hit? Uh, no, I was always pretty like aggressive, you know, kid, you know, like 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 physical sports. So uh, no, I was I was pretty excited, you know, especially going against going up there in Canada and Toronto area and playing against those guys. It was always uh, like pretty big battles we had against them. So it was, it 
It's a lot of fun, you know. Play the Canadian kid. Did you, as an American, almost have to prove yourself a little bit? You're as tough as they are. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, being from Buffalo, we live we're, we're real close to the border, so going up to tournaments, you know, obviously, you know, like it's Canada's sport, so yeah, like you know, a lot of Canadians. I don't know if they say they think they're better at hockey than Americans, but I mean, I don't know. It's just it's definitely like you have to prove yourself. How do you like your game? How do you like where you are at this point in, the, in your development as a hockey player? Uh, as a hockey player, you know, it's. Uh, ongoing process you know you have to take every day and just you know make the best of it so um, I'm happy with the way I'm playing and you know you just keep getting better day by day you know particular area of your game you're working on the most I'd say um, I don't know just defensively just talking with uh, the the center you know and like breaking the puck out with the center you know we've been working on that a bit uh, lately so um, you know that's about that's about it would for is what I'm working on right now. I don't know. We're in the stretch drive. Is there pressure? Do you feel pressure? I don't know. We've kind of had a playoff atmosphere all year. You know, we, our team has got a lot of um, potential, and like we have a lot of uh, pressure put on. We put put on ourselves because we all want to, you know, have a good year this year. So um, ever since the beginning of the year, it's been, uh, you know. Everyone just wants to uh, win every game and spend, uh, you know, not necessarily pressure, but we just want to, you know, be the best we can be this year. We, we started off asking the goaltenders this and decided to ask others, what's your favorite piece of equipment? Uh, my stick. I like to, you know, tape it and uh, just mess around with it. So. Any particular ritual with the, with the stick? Uh, no, I just put it I put it next to Felides. He scores lots of goals, so maybe I get some luck. Fair enough. Nick Schaus, uh, a pleasure talking to you. We thank you for your time and uh, wish you continued success. All right, thank you, Bob. That is Riverhawk defenseman Nick Schaus. You're listening to the Riverhawk Radio Network. Puck kept in by Goer, sends it down the boards. It will bounce to Campbell. Campbell out of the right corner. In front, show shot, score! Riverhawks take a one to nothing.